Can you imagine that the ocean is changing so much within 24 hours? Actually, it's not even 24 hours. Who knows what will be the weather after a couple of hours? But yeah, today it's a way calmer and nicer. So that's why I would like to talk a little bit about snorkeling. I know I'm more diver than a snorkeler, but the, today I decided to talk about snorkel because snorkel is snorkeling is actually is a really good activity, and uh, not in all places we have a dive center. Some remote places, or not always, you want to take a dive to see something. Like, for example, a lot of our friends who came to the Philippines, and we lived in a beautiful place called Malbal, Cebu Island. And the coral reef was about 15 kilometers long and just imagine how beautiful it was and you know they always told us and showed the photos about things we never seen actually on our reef just because we always diving deeper than so yeah snorkeling is really good attraction for those who don't dive or they have no so like they are like a kind of doubts about to dive or not to dive then actually that snorkeling is the first introduction to the underwater world and that's actually great because snorkeling you can do everywhere you want you can all you need is just to snorkel and and mask and maybe also fins because in some places it can be easier to swim with the fins but that's not really like a needed if you're feeling comfortable in the water you're a good swimmer then fins is not that needed at all but before you go in the water there is a couple of things you have to always keep in mind so the first of all choose the right mask and what means right mask it doesn't mean that the mask have to be expensive it's even so for example this mask the most important thing is not the price but the comfort you have of it so how comfortable is it we are not always the same our face shape is not always the same before you buy it online you go to the dive shop and you try the mask on again remember what you are losing buying something online so you can go to the dive shop of ways a specialist and he will explain about the materials explain about um, other stuff what is important when choosing the mask but if it doesn't matter for you buy online no problem So what is a good mask? So a good mask is that when you take a mask, you put it on your face like this without using a strap. And if you inhale through the nose and not breathing through the nose, that it stuck, it suck on your face and it just stay there. Even you shake your head. It just simply stay there and it actually means that it's good for your face shape there's no any gaps where the air is coming in and that's why it cannot stick on your face so that's the most important thing like i say it doesn't really matter what what the what is the price of the mask the most important thing is how it fits for your face because for example i got the mask in the beginning it felt really good mask with a good uh, view like a, there was a four glasses like there was a prism on the side and I was even able to see a little bit on the back but in this point it was pressing on here on my face and it was super painful and after the first 10 minutes of diving I was about shit I don't just 
I just waiting for the moment when this dive will be over because it's so painful and, and uncomfortable. If you are the beginner, I really recommend you to have a free diving mask. Just because the free diving mask is really small and the, but it's really comfortable in one term. It's really easy to clear it. Let's say there is a water in your mask and when you exhale, you should be able to clear it with one single breath. Because if it's not like that, then the boot is going in your nose and it feels really uncomfortable. So that's why as small is the volume, inside volume of the mask, as bad it is. There are hundreds of brands outside there in the market and it doesn't really matter. It Another thing is the snorkel. The snorkel is also really important. This is actually the simplest snorkels and really, really flexible and it's more for the free divers. So the free diver, when they are resting on a surface, they're using this particular snorkels because it's so comfortable you can put it in somewhere and before you go down or in a single breast, so then you just take it off, put in a, a buoy and that's it. Um, but the thing is that what you have to remember when you're buying these cheap and simple snorkels, if you are not kind of familiar with the snorkeling at all, the problem is this one is not for you. Why? Because there's no any protection on the top. And if you just put your face a little bit deeper, so then the water will go in and finally you will drink some water if you don't know how to clear it. I've seen a lot of people, the beginners, when they start snorkeling they what i do if there is a water inside the snorkel well they are just simply taking the snorkel out let the water come out here which is not kind of the thing when you really know how to clear a snorkel okay, so there are two different methods how to clear the snorkel the one is a blast method when you are already on a surface you drop your head back and then you exhale why you drop the head back because then in this position the snorkel is looking down and then it's easier for the water to come out so you don't have to put that much effort and you don't have to blow into the snorkel that much to clear it another one is displacement method it's just this lead, this actually needs a little bit more training because when you're coming up from the depth and just before surfacing you a little bit inhale into the snorkel and the bubble which is inside the snorkel now it's of course going up and pushing out all the water so by the moment when we will reach the surface the snorkel will be clear and you can simply take a first breath then there are more expensive ones this particular one is from scuba pro the, the first of all if you want to clear it there is a valve and that means when you blow in since you're making a pressure inside the snorkel then it's because the water is heavier than air so then actually the air is pushing out the water through this point so basically you don't have to push the water all the way up here it will just come out here and another thing is also here on the top there is a like a, another valve I will show you that there is another valve a way more comfortable for the beginners and uh, also safer like kind of swimming because it's always this the water comes into the snorkel always when you wait it last Another really important thing is that you will see nothing underwater if you will not anti-fog a mask. What it means anti-fog anti a mask? So when you are in a water and sometimes you're breathing out through the nose, of course your mask is fogging. 
So that means you have to do something to prevent this happening. One of the simplest way how you can anti-fog a mask is just simply spitting into the mask. And when you spit in a mask, your, your spit actually consists of some level of the acidity. How to do it? Just simply spit in a mask, like, and then with a the finger rub it here. So uh, cover all the surface of the glass. And when it's done, leave it for a while. But when you are in a wood, so then just rinse it off. When you're washing it off, please don't touch it anymore with the fingers because when you're touching off the, with your fingers, the fingers, there's also some something on your fingers. And because of that oily stuff, the mask will start fogging again. So, spit, rub, rinse, don't touch. If you are not okay with the spitting in a mask, so then you can buy, buy the Johnson's Baby shampoo, which is not itchy for your eyes, and you can use this one. It's a question how good is it actually for the ocean and for the ecology, or there is a special, uh, the the drops which you can use for the mask and it's also really good probably that's better for the ecology than Johnson's baby shampoo but yeah so that's something people using the principle is the same put a couple of drops on each glass then rub and when in the water just rinse it out or you can rinse it out here and then only go in a ocean that probably that's the best solution the one really annoying thing is that when you buy a mask and you really want to take it in the water for the first dive and try it out because you are so excited to do it is that your mask will fog really bad and that the thing is that because this mask is straight from the factory and to protect mask from any scratches especially yeah any scratches so then they put some protective layer on the glass inside here on the outside there is always sticker which you take it off right but inside there is this protective layer what is it it's probably silicone or something like that because you cannot sell the scratchy mask who will buy it so there is one thing what you have to do before you use your mask uh, for the first time simply take a lighter switch it on and move around the perimeter of the glass inside and you will actually see how the fire is burning off this protective layer if you're not really familiar how to do it better bring it to someone who knows usually all instructors and dive masters know how to do it but if you are like a kind of individual snorkeler and you are not going to go to any dive center so just go inside any dive center and say guys please help me to do this one all right so sometimes people complain when they've been doing this procedure before first dive is a mask but the mask is still fogging and the problem is that probably there's still some silicon left and what you can do and that's something i found take a clean towel and then you start cleaning inside the mask but you have to change to the next point the towel because in some point uh, the, the the fabric becomes full of the grease which is inside the mask so that's why you clear in one place so clean with one point of the towel for a while then change again and you rub really strong as long the glass becomes warm to touch so that means you've been doing really well and please spend a little bit more time on each glass like I don't know each glass clean, clean maybe about five minutes and then it will be okay and after that then you can clean with the toothpaste or the shampoo wash it out and next time when you will go in the water it will be absolutely enough just to spit in a mask thank you very much for watching follow subscribe and see you tomorrow again bye